Back here in Washington, the Biden administration announced a new plan to have airlines compensate passengers for preventable flight disruptions. Now, this includes delays and cancellations not caused by storms. And as CBS's Nancy Cordes reports, you could get cash. When a cancellation is the airline's fault, the president says they should have to pay up. You deserve to be fully compensated. Your time matters. Impact on your life matters. Today, he vowed to roll out new rules by the end of the year, requiring airlines to cover things like rebooking fees, hotel stays, ground transportation, and meal vouchers when weather is not to blame. Well, this is about transportation secretary Pete sure Buttigieg says the government may not stop there. So, is there a possibility you could require the airlines to give people cash? That's absolutely uh, something that uh, could happen under this proposed rule. He pointed to the European Union, which now requires airlines to pay passengers between 250 and 600 euros for avoidable delays. These rules are unnecessary. U.S. carriers pushed back today, arguing they'll just have to pass those new costs on to customers. Ticket prices will go up, plain and simple. That's what happened in Europe. That's what will happen here. The 10 largest airlines do now guarantee meals and free rebooking when delays are their fault. Nine of them also cover hotel stays. Airlines say they're already doing some of this voluntarily, that you don't need to make a rule. I guess I would say if they're already doing this, then they shouldn't mind us making a rule. One big question here is who exactly would determine when delays are the airline's fault? Think back to December when the Southwest Airlines scheduling system melted down. 17,000 flights had to be canceled, but it was a winter storm that started that chain reaction. So these things can be tricky to parse, Nora. Nancy Cordes, thank you.